Hi, this is Sweet June coming back at you with another video. If you're new to my channel, please do me a huge favor and hit that subscribe button. It will very, it will really help me to reach my thousand subscriber goal. So if you can go ahead and do that, I would very much appreciate it. I want to talk about uh, Cynthia G did a video the other day. Um, it was kind of like a live stream, but I, I, I came in, I wasn't on the live stream. I came in on the um, replay and she was talking about um, uh, uh, the, t the video was titled abortion is worse than single motherhood question mark. I think that's what it was titled. And basically in this video, she was talking about um, how um, uh, single motherhood um, just basically talking about how single motherhood affects black women and how it doesn't benefit black women to be single mothers and um, going into um, just all the different uh, problems that's associated with being um, a black single mom. And um, I gotta admit, everything that she was saying was absolutely correct. I mean, a, a lot of the points that she was making, I make on my channel. Um, and she was talking about, um, that's basically what she was going into and she was, you know, had callers calling in and stuff and she was debating with a lady. Um, and so basically her point was where she was talking about how, um, detrimental single motherhood is for black women and went to going into all that. She was talking about it's better. Her argument was that it's better to abort the, the child than to have to be a single mom to put yourself in a position to be a single mom and she was um, having a debate with this lady that had called in and said that she had had a son um, I don't know if this was a Caucasian lady or not but she said she had had a son a, son, a black son and um, she said her son was training to be a doctor uh, was going to school to be a doctor and um Cynthia G was basically trying to tell her <laughs> they were going back and forth and and the woman hurt the woman was that called in that she was debating with was trying to make the point you you you, you quick to tell women to have an abortion but you don't know the emo, the emotional effects that abortion has on a woman the lady was basically making the point that um the emotional effects that abortion has when a woman has an ab abortion how that's traumatizing to the woman and, and how it affects that woman emotionally. And she was saying that you telling women to um, jump up and have an ab abortion, but you're not thinking about the emotional effects that that has on a woman. And um, Cynthia G was saying that, well, it's, you're going to have more emotional effects being a single mom. You know, they were kind of going back and forth and everything like that. And was talking about how detrimental, um, you know, all the problems that's associated with being a black single mother, which all of them were correct. Yeah, I have to admit they were all correct. However, my point was, um, and another point that she was trying to make, I want to talk about all the points that she was trying to make before I go into um, what I have to say about it. Another point that she was trying to make, she was talking to another lady in the stream and another point that she was trying to make was um that celibacy, celibacy was not an option she was saying that celibacy wasn't an option abstinence was not an option for women that it was unrealistic for women to be abstinent which uh she don't want to debate with me on that because i i i have proven that that that's not true um and she was saying that basically that uh, abstinence is not an option. It's 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 um, not human nature. Um, I disagree because we can do all things through Christ that strengthens us. Um, and so that was the point that she was making too later on in the video that um, you know we're not going to abstain. So um, you know, basically advocating and pushing abortion. Um, that's what she's been doing lately. She's been pushing the abortion agenda, telling black women they need to abort black males and so on and so forth. So those are the, all the points that she was trying to make. 
um, my when I was listening to all this, and I'm saying that um, although she was making some very valid points on uh, how detrimental black single motherhood is, which it is, I agree with everything she was saying, um, how detrimental it is for black women to be single mothers and all the things that black women have to go through when they are single mothers and how it affects them and how it affects the children and how it affects the black males. I totally agree with all that. I talk about a lot of those things in my videos. However, God says to not do it. That's all I can think about throughout that whole video. I was watching out that whole video. God says, Jehovah God says to not do it. God says to not abort. The whole time I'm listening to it, that was all I could think about. God says don't do it. I understand what you're saying. You're making some really good points. But God said don't do it. God says not to do it. Now, um, and she was saying, it was another lady that she was talking to, and she was saying how, um, which was horrible, which was terrible. She said she had three kids. Um, she said, this lady said she had three sons. And that she said if she could do it all over again. Um, she said one of the fathers um, she was in a relationship with, and she called him with a white woman, and she told him he can go over there with the white woman. And after um, when, when she was carrying the baby, he was calling her and harassing her and trying to get her to abort the child. And she said that if she had to do it all over again, uh, he wouldn't have had to do nothing but tell her once. She he could have he could have drove her to the abortion clinic. I'm like, how are you saying all this? You got three boys. And she said her all three of her boys were adults. I'm like, you got three boys. How are you sitting here saying this on on video that you wish she could have aborted him, them? Who who does that? What what mother does that? What more mother, any mother says that they wish they had aborted their child. Now these she said her sons were adults, and she said they all all of them are doing good and everything. But that's what she said. If I could do it all over again, he wouldn't have to do number tell me once, and I would have he would he could have drove me to the abortion clinic. That's what the lady said. Who does that? What mother does that? What mother says, I wish I had aborted my kids? Who what mother says that? Especially after your sons are grown. What if one of her sons or all three of them listen to this stream and hear her saying this on here? They hear her saying this on the on a on a video. Who who does that? I mean, yeah, I, I know single motherhood is hard. It was hard for me. But who says that? Who says that? I don't know. Anyway. Um, and all like I said, the, the 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 one thing that was resonating through my mind when I was listening to all this is that God says to not do it. God says to not kill, shed innocent blood. God says to not take innocent blood. It's scriptural. He is God is the creator of life. He's the only one that can create it. He's the only one that can take it away. We, we do not have that authority to take someone's life. We do not have that authority. And it's like, I don't I'm like, I don't appreciate Cynthia G encouraging black women to abort children because abortion is not the answer. Abstinence is the answer and prevention is the answer. And that was the point she was making too, that she was saying that it's not possible, humanly possible for women to be abstinent, to abstain. No, yes, it is. I said, that's where she was wrong. I would, me and her would go back and forth on that one. <laughs> you can, you can abstain. It can be done. It's a matter of whether you want to do it or not. It's a matter of whether you want to do it or you don't want to do it. It depends on whether you want to do it or not. If you don't want to do it, then no, you're not going to be able to abstain if you don't want to do it. But if you want to do it, 
you're going to do it. Plain and simple. It's a matter of whether you want to do, do something or you don't want to do it. But we can do all things through Christ that strengthens us. So she, she's not going to win the debate with me on that one. If you're, not, if you're saying that it's not possible to abstain, no, it's not possible if you don't want to do it. But if you want to do it, you, you will do it. Because I've been doing it for quite some time. And by God's grace, it can be done. So she will never win that argument with me on that one. But, but, but God says to not abort. God says to not kill. He says to not take innocent life. I am an advocate for preventing pregnancy in the first place. I am the advocate of abstaining until marriage. I am, I am an advocate of um, using protection to protect yourself to in prevention of getting pregnant. And she's not thinking about why she's talking about how it's humanly not possible to abstain. She's not thinking about diseases. That's another reason to abstain is diseases. Black women are have um, the highest AIDS. Uh, I think statistically, black women have the highest AIDS rates in this country. But she's not. But she is not ready for that conversation. She's not ready for that conversation. So, so un, 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 unplanned pregnancy is not the only thing that black women have to worry about. They also have to worry about contracting HIV. HPV is another sexually transmitted disease that can cause cancer of the cervix. Herpes, that's something that you, a condom cannot protect you from getting. You can get herpes. Well, once you get herpes, you can't get rid of it. It's, you can manage it, but you can never get rid of it. And that stays, that stays with you for life. And a condom cannot protect you from that. So... They, uh, unplanned pregnancy is not the only thing <laughs> that black women have to worry about. Black women have to also worry about HIV and HPV, herpes, other transmitted diseases. Um, that's a conversation that she's not ready to have. So there's more reasons, there's, there's more reasons to abstain. So for her to 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 advocate um, not to advocate not abstaining, but advocating abortion is not a good thing. And God is not happy with that. God says plain and simple, no, no, you are not to kill. It says in the Bible, thou shall not kill. Now I don't know if too many people want to go before the throne with that on their roster. I know I didn't. You want to go before the throne with that on your roster, with abortion on your roster? Even though, yeah, he forgive you, you ask for forgiveness, but it's just it's just the principle of the thing. You know what I mean? So I think she's sending a terrible message to black women. She's sending a horrible message um, to black women, um, you know, telling black women that they need to abort black children instead of instead of encouraging black women to abstain, encouraging black women to use protection to prevent the pregnancies in the first place. That's what she should be saying. You know, just protect yourself. Don't get pregnant in the first place. But to, to, to tell people to kill innocent babies is not okay. And God is listening. He's not happy with it. So that's, that's the message that I want to send to Cynthia G. God says no. I don't, I, everything that she said was absolutely correct. But God said no. He said no. He said no killing. No shedding of innocent blood. Okay, let me know if in the, in the comment section if you've seen that Cynthia G, uh, the, the video's titled <sighs> Single Her Worse Than Abortion? Question mark. If you've seen that, let me know what your thoughts are on it. If you didn't see it, let me know what you think about what I said about it in this video. What are your thoughts on what are your thoughts on um, male, female, black females, black males? What are your thoughts on 
Cynthia G's commentary. What do you what do you think about her commentary? Do you you think that she's further dividing this this this, this gender war? Do you think that she's well, she's definitely <laughs> a part of the problem. Do you think that she's trying to further divide black men and women or just let me know, hit me up in the comment section. What are your thoughts on Cynthia G's content? Okay, um, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Um, hit the thumbs up if you like this video and the notification bell. So every time I do a video, you will be notified. And until the next video, peace and love. This is Sweet June.